Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel, thank you very much for joining me in today's Valheim video. So today we're going to be looking at corners, circles and ways of getting away from the square. Now the reason why is because in this game, in fairness, a lot of people build squares. The reason why is because that's how you build in this game. The idea for like making your buildings a little bit more unique and adding like circles and corners and you know, sort of these nice sort of aesthetically pleasing uh, structures all comes down to the actual foundation of your build. So, as you can see, this is the part that I buried my, um, I buried the workshops underneath. If you haven't seen that, it's up in the top right-hand corner right now. And basically, underneath here is a workshop and a stone workshop. And as you can see, the hammer just floating through the, through the actual floor there. So, what we've done is we've laid this foundation down and going, right, okay, we want to build a, a corner. Now the best way to build a corner is to lay a foundation to start with. It can be done on wood, and I prefer to be building on stone because it's squares, and it's like, you know, it's all checkered out, so I actually get a gist of like spacing as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one there. So we've got our corner. Now because we're actually on a foundation and we're not building on the floor, it's easier to clip into the side of the actual uh, stone. So from this point we've got like a square on, rotate the mouse wheel, there we go, we can just follow this natural corner to get to... Well, that was my bad. Okay. And then you just come into this into this corner here, shuffle it around a little bit, and boom! There you go, there's a corner. And in order, for, in order to match this up, you can either leave it like this, or in order to basically, you know, get it all, like, nicely, like, placed, because you've got the one above it now, you should just be able to plant a foundation. If I can squeeze it in, because it's not going to work for me. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, yep. There we go. It's all about just sort of getting the same placement as you had before with the actual build. Sometimes, like, you have to move around a bit. You have to mess around with this, that, and the other. And it, it does sometimes get a little bit painful to, <laughs> to just get in there. Go on. So, we're going to do this final corner here. Um, let me just... Yep, we're going to select in. So, we're going to take out the bottom floor... The bottom foundation that we put the corner onto. And we're gonna have a, we're gonna try and have a little wiggle around and try and get these in. Now, if it doesn't lay the way that you want them to lay, try and get the foundation to be underneath so you can actually start your corner off. And then from there, it should be a little bit easier. It's just the game works better if you've got a layer between the floor and where you want to build your foundation. So, the better you've got access to the underneath your foundation to make it all look nice is the better you're actually gonna be able to get a building in. So, we're just going to have a faff around here. Worst comes to worst, you have to dig out the ground a bit more. And where that stone is there, that's where I want my next keystone to go in. So I'm going to have to put this one in and sort of have a wiggle. If it's not going to go in, then we re remove that one, put this one underneath, and then, we get, and then we're good. Then we can get rid of that foundation. And then this is where uh, this is where like playing with mods does help a little bit because now I can actually bury the actual foundation. With a well, it works on a very 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 similar pr uh, way of uh, actually building a circle, but you don't use a foundation for doing this. The best way to actually build a well is is really simple when thinking about it. But it's like actually doing it. You're sitting there just going, ah, oh, now I get it. And uh, yeah, there's been a couple of other people that have sort of like mentioned this, but this is just another way you can do it. So bring up your hammer tool again and take a stake, your bog standard stake that goes into the floor. Then put down the foundation. Oh, yep, yeah, put down the found uh, the the cross members into the floor, and then do one. I oh, want do the, these ones at an angle. Okay. So when it comes to making a circle, in a well, or if you want to go for a big building like this and you don't want to do mess around with the foundation side of things, this is another way to do it. You just work on a slightly smaller scale, but you could work this on a bigger scale and be happy. So what we've got is we've got our little squares of stone now, and we're going to put one down there. Well, no, we're not. We're going to put one at an angle going towards the one side, and then we're going to put one on the other side facing that way. And then... We're going to clip onto the one in the middle. Now, each stake that you're putting into the ground has got three sort of like clip points on, on each edge. 
So it's got a left side, a center, and a right hand side. It's always best if you're going to start clipping these in, is to basically always do the uh, the angles first before you put the straight face in, because the straight face is always the one that causes a bit more of a trouble to actually clip into the uh, stonework. So it it is pretty much the same thing each time. Go that way, go this way, straight one, wiggle it in, and then when it comes to this one, you just wiggle it in. That's all it is. And then over time, you can build yourself a well. Right? And that's just, that's literally how it all works. Okay, so another thing I want to touch upon is making, obviously making circles is not easy for a lot of people. And the downside to it is it does get messy. You know, it, it gets to a point where you sit there and just go, right, so what the hell can I do? How do I make a circle? How do I do? And it all just comes down to just real positioning, like how you're going to build stuff. And some of the ways that I've sort of like been experimenting with this is using a massive pinwheel. Uh, obviously this is just a foundation with lots and lots of stakes attached to it and in order to make a, a circular sort of almost like a cylinder shape and I mean from this you can make pillars which is always it's always a, a little bit fun to make something different out of it um, the idea is to follow each stake in the floor with the actual face of your uh, with with all the wood and you can as I said you can do this with stone as well um, in fairness, I'm looking at my next one. I want to try and build is a massive like stone pillar, and it'll be an interesting little build. But I'll, I'll see what I can do with it. Well, this would be the first thing that you do is to build something like this, so you have a almost like a pin wheel. Um, so it looks like one of those things that when you spin it, it always, sh always shows like a different pin. And then from there, what you would do from this is you just follow the faces of the wood, and you would just sort of just clip it all in as as it goes through. The downside is it's it's all the clip points you've got to try and use, and it it does get a little bit messy. So you're gonna have like you're gonna have all these gaps in your pillars, but it would add to like a really really cool sort of aesthetic as well. There you go. We've just built like you almost like your basic version of a table or something, and you can basically you can start putting um, panels on top of it or below it, and it's depending on how you want to build your um, your your circle. And now you've got all these extra faces to be able to clip it all in properly. This building that you're going to be looking at now will be a little bit different. You know, you're going to have all these like weird layers of wood on the floor. But you're going to have something that genuinely looks a little bit nicer. Um, and doing this means you have a lot of faces to work with. It means you've got a lot more sort of accessibility to different angles. And okay, this is it's going to look rough, but you get the gist. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and show you how to do this perfectly. But the best way to like do things is to experiment, have a little mess around with. And some of these games, when they're using like their own engines to like make stuff, you know, some of them haven't really thought about the the, the other thing you can do with these by making things a little bit more unique for yourself. And this is the sort of reason why I'm building this. It's just I want number one, I wanted to show people that this can be done. Number two, it gives you an idea. I mean, maybe from this point, I could sit here and go, right, I'm going to build. A massive pillar I'm gonna build this I'm gonna have you know this is my like artwork on top of my building or it's gonna be a pillar that's gonna go up straight through the center of my main house and all these sort of ideas start really hitting out like this is this could be a way of you building a lighthouse and from there it, it just becomes something else instead of just building squares or rectangles I think we're we're all sort of like too comfortable with like building stuff on a regular sort of like hey look at me I've built a square. How about building something different? And this is something different. There you go, a circle, and it looks all right as well. I mean, okay, the the edges are a little bit rough, but I mean you know we can't really smarten that up. That's just the joys of the game. The only way you could smarten this up really would be to use the uh, the actual sort of the the rafter sections, which is this. I mean, it's not perfect. But you get the gist, don't you? I mean, you do it yourself. You show, you basically experiment, be happy, and just mess with the game a little bit. Try and make something that's different. I don't know anybody else who's tried doing this just yet. But at the end of the day, it's it's a different aesthetic that you can have in your builds. And then, I mean, from here, you would just quite happily just keep building up. I mean, there would be no problem with you building constantly until you really wanted to start. Now, the hardest part about making circles is turning it into a building. Because there's no way of actually making a circular roof, unless you have to, you, you have to clip a lot, you have to mess around with positioning. And it does get a little bit, like, tiresome and tedious. But, you know, if, if you stick with it and 
you do a good job, sometimes it pays off and sometimes you get the result you're looking for. But it is all about patience with doing this because it all has to be done like nicely. Personally, I mean, if, you, if you're just playing this game to play Valheim, because yes, it is a trending game. There is a lot of people playing this game. And if you're just playing this game because everyone else is playing it, and that's pretty, in fairness, that's pretty much how I started playing this. But then I really got into actually the aesthetics of it, like actually doing stuff nicely instead of just, well, boorishly running into stuff that I don't really care about. I genuinely enjoyed this game. Um, the the make of the game is pretty cool. Being able to like create things like this is just something that I I like. And okay, yes, I'm using mods. And the reason why I'm using mods is because I don't want to spend all my time chopping down wood or trees or messing around with like having to regrow stuff or do. And that's the reason why I use mods. It's not because hey, I finished the game. I'm, you know, I, I'm, you know, I was feeling lazy right at the beginning. I'll just use mod. That happened towards the end of the game when I went up against the dragon on my own and went, nah, it's alright, bud. <laughs> so, yeah, I did use mods for the last boss, but up until that point, it was all down to me. So yeah, making circles. It does open up a lot of ideas of things that you can make with this game if you've if you've got a little bit of patience. You know, you can make structures like this. Yeah, I, okay, it's not like amazingly put together i mean i could i could sit here and fill the roofs up if i really needed to but the idea would be to just make stuff that you want to make and this is where i get with this game it's it's genuinely quite fun to just mess around with ideas and stuff in this game and just carry on at my first home i went really rectangular when it came to the inside Real straight edges, real everything. But there had to be a way of defining the front. And I had to make something a little bit different. And that's why I did what I did with this. I made it a little bit different because why not? You know? At the end of the day, making things like this is just an expression of what you want out of the game. And for me, doing that, it was fun. It was good. And it was a nice way to actually sort of think about, hey, you know what? That's what I want to do. That's This is how I want to play this game. So when it comes to expressing yourself in your building, doing all this other stuff, it's just a way of making things better for you. And as you can see, where I, was, where I didn't split the roof properly, where it came to actually making the roof like rounder, I put the eaves up and I put the actual gaps in to make them more of a feature. These are things that I just messed around with and it genuinely looked all right. So at the end of the day, there is no right or wrong way to build in this game. But if you want to express your, if you want to build differently, maybe add a couple of different angles in instead of just the bog standard square. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel. Until then, guys, I want to say thank you very much for kicking by. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.